Hello, everyone! Let's go on a star! And, yay, King Dedede! We got you! Oh no, Waddle Dee's falling! That's actually a really good Waddle Dee, and Meta Knight? Oh hi! You wanna help us? Let's all go on an adventure! Yay! Hello everyone, it's Yashu Gamer Girl. Welcome to a new Let's Play, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. I actually wanted to do this more than Yoshi's Story. I have to tell you that because after I did Kirby 64, Kirby 64, um, the Crystal Shards, I wanted to do this Let's Play a lot. Well, here's the story. I like Kirby and Yoshi equally, but I'm like, well, I want to do a Let's Play on this. There's my 100% file and extra mode sort of thing, yeah. So what's the difference exactly between, um, how, what do you call, a let's play on this and a let's, and other let's plays? Well, for one thing, okay, for one thing I'm going to do not the main mode and delete all this because that's kind of dumb. I'm going to do a let's play extra file. Yep. You heard me right. Oh, look at this! It's a beautiful star. The warp star or pop star, whatever you want to, like, call it. I've got cake or pie, whatever you want to call it, and cutely running with it. I'm Meta Knight, I'm reading a book, and I like to be like that. Ooh, butterfly. And what is that? <laughs> uh -huh, I got... Oh! Meta Knight, you burnt this cake. Well, I'm distracted by cake, and Meta Knight is looking at the star, and so was Waddle Dee. Um, that is an interesting ship that is breaking apart, evidently. Oh my god, wow. That doesn't look good, actually. It no, whoa, 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 what is happening? Everything's happening so fast. We gotta investigate this thing. Yeah, we, we gotta go and do that. So Waddle Dee, I think, has this little, like, adventure voice, I think. Oh. Do, do. Oh, wow! Something appeared. It's mythical. Whoa. Oh, man. I thought this was, like, so adorably cute. It's like, oh. Oh, looky here. Huh. Oh, this little guy's hurt. Um... Whoa! Uh... Whoa, wait, wait, you see who you... These little thingies here? Uh, you little thingies here, right? And all of my, like, little gift parts are gone. I think, oh, I is sad now. Huh. Hi. Hi, mister! Hey, mister! We can help you with this! We are helpful people! Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I guess I'll help too, since I'm like with the game. Thank you very much. Uh, the ship parts are scattered across your um, warp star thing or whatever, and they contain like, you know, the first stop is the yours. No problem, we'll get them. Yeah, we're all a team. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha, yay. And so the four are off on an adventure once again. To get the ship parts and the little spear-like things, I guess. Ooh, what's this here? Okay, so the first level is called Cookie Country. Mm, yummy, Yoshi loves cookies. And apparently so does Kirby because, you know. Yeah. So... We're gonna go to the first world, or first level, or whatever you want to call it, of, um, yeah, of the Warp Star. Cookie Country! And, uh, what's the difference between, uh, a regular Let's Play? I was going to explain that earlier. Well, Kirby, as you see there, has 40% uh, less health. And the enemies, yeah, you can go ahead and relax, Kirby, because, yeah, I just want to see what we can do here. Yeah, um, the Kirby has 40% less health, four players anytime, oh, but I don't have anyone to join me, I mean, I do, I have my brother, but he actually hates Kirby, which is so wrong, let's get going, yay, hi, flowers and 
Let's see. Hey, that's a bad Waddle Dee. Let's suck it. And then, yeah, I could swallow it. I could have, like, blown it out like that, but I guess I chose not to. And yeah, whoa! Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm very distracted because I like doing things like this and just getting on with the adventure. And, ooh, bigger enemy. Yay! Sword! Hooray! I'm going to destroy all these things. But you know what I like to do? I'd like to pull up and see exactly what to do. Donna Green had and takes sword in hand. Spit slash! Do a sword dive edge finishing strike. It's all about the flourish. So there's an overhead slash and a sword beam with if you press one with full health and uh, one with overhead slash multi or multi sword attack whatever yeah, I'm I'm like uh, getting ahead of myself here especially um, if you do like a, a down with the D-pad uh, down thrust yeah see there it is um, multi sword attack is when you like you know do the one a bunch of times basically you know press one a bunch. Uh, charge and thrust, or bleh, what am I saying? You know, dash and one in midair, you know, it's basically um, a basic ability, one of the basic abilities that you like to do. Um, upward slash and, uh, oops, uh, the, pff, all the sword dives, spin slash, underwater spin, yeah, we haven't gotten underwater yet, so basically, y you can't really do much about it. Ha! Yeah, that was the uh, cutter ability, but I'd rather not go in to discuss that yet because uh, we're just using sword ability to do spammy stuff. And you see these stars? Well, I can't really say, you know, uh, the stars were fuller, you know, in the, uh, in the, you know, normal mode run through of this game. But, uh, in this run through of the game, you know, it doesn't really make any sense, you know, Nintendo logic, Kirby logic, whatever you want to say. Um, so, what you gonna do? You're just gonna, like, oh yeah, that's the sword beam, you know, because I have full health and I can just do that. Yay. And sandwich! Yummy sandwich! Ooh, yummy! Oh, hi, Bronto Bert! You're gonna die! Yeah! Like a boss! And, uh, yay! I'm gonna go up here because I like collecting things and I wanna have as much health as possible. And, uh, hi, sweeper! You'll sweep them! Sweep, sweep, sweep! Yeah, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, so now we're coming up to a different ability. I'm actually going to get rid of the sword power now. Um, the way I did that, here, let me suck it back in. Uh, actually, I pressed the minus button. Even though it shows you later how to do it, I, I played this game so much. Now we've got the fire ability. Yay! Feel the heat of the hot flame techniques. Light fuses, climb walls, fireball climb. And if you're on fire, it's fire infer fireball inferno time. Blech. Okay, fire breath, which is one. Yeah, and uh, actually, you can extend the fireball inferno. Inferno, if you didn't know that. If you press the right, uh, bleh, how do you say? It? Right on the D pad, you can extend it. If, and if you press left on the D pad, you can not extend it in your flame carver. Yeah, flaming on fire. And you know, you this thing, it's like if you press down and with the flame ability, it's a flame wheel, yeah! Pokemon reference, nice! Flame wheel, Kirby learned flame wheel, yeah! And if you press it low enough to the ground, you see? Flame wheel, yeah! You didn't know um, Kirby knew Pokemon moves, right? <laughs> yeah, it's funny like that, actually, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's interesting way of doing that, so... I just gotta tell you, uh... Like stuff like that. Oh yeah, and you see this um, in extra mode? I gotta tell you that the door, and yeah, you see that? And Scrafty there, it's so freaking annoying. Any key in extra mode is guarded by a Scrafty or whatever those enemies are called. And I think instead of just taking the key and like, oh no, Scrafty's coming, I think it's better to destroy those ahead of time, even though they are going to spawn like later on. God damn you, Cappy! Cappy, you fail. So I'm just gonna jump over you and get the key. And it's time to get this! Yay! You got an energy sphere. Energy spheres are scattered across the land. Uh, and they hold powers and stuff. Yeah, it's actually good to collect this. Uh, because you're gonna need them. Well, I guess you aren't really gonna need And there's 120 in all because, again, I've played this so much. And Nintendo actually loves the number 120. I'm such a... Okay, first, 
before I continue that thought, I'm going to get rid of that and press 1 and shake the Wii Remote because it says 2 and get this extra life! Yay! Okay, now I'm going to jump up here and continue to do that. Poof! That that just plows through that. And hello, Waddle you fell. Uh, did I say Waddle Dee? Yeah, Waddle Dee. Okay, so... Oh, yummy! I didn't need that, but hey, yay! Okay, I think that cost 10, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> well, whatever. Derp -a -herp -a -herp. Yeah, okay, yep! Poof! Okay, so... Poof! Oh yeah, so the number 120 is, I guess, a favorite of Nintendo's, especially if you were playing, like, Super Mario 64 in the back in the days, or in Ma Super Mario Galaxy, you know? Super Mario Galaxy, you had to collect 120 Power Stars or whatever. But hey, well, I'm going way off topic and just going blah, blah, blah. But oh well, you know, that's just me. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a super ability. Super ability. I'm going to suck this up and get the Ultra Zord. Oh my god, he's so adorable in this. Woohoo! Like a boss! Yes! Haha, <laughs> yeah! You know, I just love it when... Yes! Barca, let's get it up! Oh my god, I always go fangirl for this. Alright, packing pure destructive power. It's a super ability. It's name Ultra Sword. You can rally, rally, whatever, the earth and destroy things in its path. You know, Ultra Sword and sword changes each time you swing. When, when, when it says the sword changes each time you swing, what it means is yes! Haha! -ha! It means that there's different forms to this, but I am just so intrigued by this because yes, Meta Knight Sword and oh god, haha! You you go ahead and eat that fruit. Continue to die. yeah. <laughs> Get pirate cutlass like a boss, and you just cut into some fabric. Yep. Yeah. Wait, cut into fabric. Fabric does not apply here, especially since this is not Kirby's Epic Yarn. Kirby's Epic Yarn is a different... Meta Knight Sword is... Oh my god. And um, I'm going to have to say... Okay, the reason I'm using all these different... <laughs> is that sometimes... Okay, so there's a rare type of uh, power sword in this um, that rarely appears. I'm going to quote my friend Sephiroth1204. If he's watching this, I'm pretty sure he will. Um, the rarest kind, the rarer ki kind that appears is a golden fan, and the rarer kind that appears is what he calls a, a tuna. But I like to call a salmon, but he calls it a tuna, and I think it's funnier that he said that. And I'm like, oh my god, there's a tuna. And when I first saw it, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, what is a tuna thingy here? And I'm like, whatever. Uh, I want the tuna thing. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so, um, the different, another difference on hard mode somewhere here is like, uh, I like a challenge, but it goes, the, the little screen goes a lot faster. Um, I gotta suck these up and, like, get the, the, the enemies to plow through. I mean, like, uh, it's a challenge, like I said, but, uh, I just, come on, get, all right. Now, now that I got that to go through there, I gotta just now plow my way through. And, uh, damn you Waddle Dees! Alright. Now. Now, basically you can either choose the sword ability or the fire ability. It's, it's your choice, really. Um... I don't really know. It, again, it's it's a matter of opinion, but I'm gonna go with the sword ability because it I like it. And so now you're gonna fight Spirit Umer EX. They have a different look and not necessarily different color. And oh my god, when I found out that you could press A to defend attacks, defend. Sometimes you actually completely defend against them. Sometimes it just minimizes damage. Um, against attacks, like, does less damage to you, and some, and so, uh, it's so helpful, especially during the extra mode, like, 40% less health stuff, 
And it's like, oh my god, if you if you're like one of the older people like me, I'm like, um, I played Kirby Superstar, and if you remember, um, one of the control buttons, uh, you remember that Kirby can defend against attacks or something like that. I don't remember what button it was. It's it's been so long since I played it on. I actually played Kirby Superstar for an emulator first. Yes, an emulator. And then I played it for the, um, uh, the... Well, actually, it was a long, long, long time ago that I played it for the SNES. Because my cousin had it. However, if you're the younger generation, I'm pretty sure you played Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS! And I just got the last two... Um, energy spheres, and we're also gonna go out of here. And that maximum tomato, by the way, they give you at the end of every level. But right now, since the evidently these, um, Brontobarts respawn for some reason. Uh, Kirby logic, whatever. Alright, I got another extra life, and I'm gonna go up here to just get this, and yeah. Alright! So there's a trick to this, I guess. I don't know exactly why. Whee! Two, two, for me and you, yay! I'm actually recording this on Valentine's Day, so... Two, you know, couple! Uh, yeah, sorry, I shouldn't mention that, but... Uh, I'm a romantic. Forgive me, please. Anyway, um, so in the next episode, we're going to record level two and three. Uh, thank you for watching. And this has been Yashu Gamer Girl. So until next time, I will see y'all later. Yashu Huggles!